he just completely glitches out. He just starts like juking himself. I don't know if he thinks he's tackling an invisible running back or what. Who are you covering? Air? Definitely one of the glitchiest plays in the game. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff up the Mad Cheese as always. Last week, I did a video uh, that was very popular. Uh, that was a one-play touchdown against just about every single defense in the game that you can find in just about any playbook in the game. So today, I'm going to try to recreate that. I have another play that you can find in just about any playbook in the game uh, that you can score a one-play touchdown against just about any play in the game. I'm going to show you guys that today. If you guys want to see me to continue to do a series like this from basically just showing you guys a play, a very common play that can score against just about any defense, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. The formation that I'm using today is the Gun Y off trio week and the play itself is going to be the pa post dig shot now the formation that i'm using today is out of the ravens it's the gun y off trio week and the play itself is the pa post dig shot now this play and this formation aren't in every playbook but you can find a pa post dig shot in just about every single playbook you might have to look at some slightly different formation names sometimes it's the gun y off trio week sometimes it's something else sometimes it's actually in single back but you can find this play in every single playbook in the game I know because when I do my ebooks, it's in all of them. So you might have to look around a little bit, but it is in your favorite playbook. And the setups that I show you will work the exact same way. Now, this particular formation, I actually put out some run plays from yesterday, a run play scheme, which uh, if you guys want to see, I'll have a link in the description below because this here has got some of the best run plays in the game, in my opinion. The buck sweep is one of the most overpowered run plays in the game. And that's why I'm doing this video because I wanted to add a pass play to that formation. But check that out, link in the description below. Other than that, let's go and let's pick the PA posting shot. And then on defense, we're going to start off with cover two and work our way back like we always do. Now, this play here can be a one-play touchdown against a lot of different defenses. It's definitely something that your opponent will not be expecting because it's really a run-heavy formation. So against cover two zone, put the B route on an out route of five yards and put the RB route on a hitch. This is all you got to do. I'll slide my protection to the uh, right because I am going to throw to the X route. And then you're going to see how this X route here, once it gets to a certain point, is a very easy one-play touchdown because the safety here kind of lags off now there he was lit up and he still didn't make the play in time now if you watch the safety on the right there he reacts really oddly to these short routes he basically just thinks that he has to stop and come down on these really short routes and he really kind of wanders to the right it has nothing to do with the fact that i'm moving with the quarterback by the way he wanders to the right regardless whether i stay in the pocket or whatever you can see he's totally out of position so once this guy this the receiver gets inside of his safety i just had the bullet and pass lead up now there didn't necessarily get the best throw but you can see i still get over the top and like i said this is something that you'll see as we do this more and more that we get more and more separation there are things you can do to make this separation work even better if you motion this receiver in he'll get around the zone chuck now he won't get zone chucked uh, by the uh, by the cornerback and he'll get a little bit more acceleration you can also just put these two guys on five yard out routes so you don't have to do the hitch uh, it's just you need a short route that's really the only thing that matters and then you can see here once again we have much more separation the other safety doesn't even come into play that time i didn't get the best throw and i had to back up a little bit as you can see I mean, we're having a little bit of pressure issues even though i have a lot of coverage out here shouldn't be having that problem but i still am as you can see we get a bull rush animation here uh but you can see like i said he's getting over the top very easy one play touchdown that's probably the full setup motioning in that receiver makes it a lot easier it takes away the acceleration loss that you get from the zone chuck and then just putting these guys on five yard out routes is really what's going to be best also works against cover two man 
Motion this guy in again. Like I said, we want to get rid of that zone chuck animation. We're going to do the exact same setup because it's going to be pretty much the safety is going to react the same way, whether it's cover two man or zone. And then boom, we're getting over the top once again, even with a cornerback trailing. Cover two man, won't play touchdown. Cover two zone, won't play touchdown. The exact same setup. What about cover three though? This is going to be one of the tougher ones. So let's go and let's pick that. Against cover three, you're going to want to do pretty much the exact same setup. I'll slide my protection uh, to the right. But you're going to want to do the exact same setup with the exception of you're going to want to put the B route on a 10-yard out route, which you're just going to have to smart route them. And basically that now that'll pull the cornerback down. I'm also going to want to put the Y route here on a streak. Now doing all this, as you can see, I'm going to just buy a little protection. We get a very easy one play touchdown to the uh, to the crossing receiver because the safety there really has to follow that uh, that running back back. It's going to work best from a hash mark, but you can really run it from anywhere. It doesn't really matter. Go ahead and run it from the hash mark this time. Hash marks are always better when it comes to one play touchdowns, but you can run it from anywhere on the field. So let's go and let's do this one more time. Like I said, I forgot to slide my protection there. I'll just have to roll out of the pocket. The rolling out is not important, by the way. I'm only doing that because I don't trust my protection. That's why I use Lamar Jackson in these videos. You can see we get another easy one play touchdown. So we're just going to watch what this uh, cornerback does here, how he reacts to the route combo. And you can see, number one, he, he reacts to the out route, which is probably a good move. But then once he turns his attention to the crossing receiver, he just completely glitches out. He just starts like juking himself. I don't know if he thinks he's tackling an invisible running back or what, but he just has no idea what to do. If a guy did all this extra stuff, he should probably be out of the league. I mean, this is something that if you saw this on game tape footage, who are you covering? Air? I mean, this is just one of the, one of the best reactions you're going to get in Madden when it comes to how glitchy this play is. Let's go and let's do this one more time. As we can watch this cornerback just completely glitch himself out. Once again, he has no idea where the play is or where he should be, and we get a very easy one play touchdown over the top. Definitely one of the glitchiest plays in the game. So that's cover three. Cover one typically reacts the same, but let's go and let's pick that. Cover three and cover one look the exact same, so we're just gonna give ourselves the exact same setup. So no matter what, you know, the shell looks like cover three or cover one, if you can't tell, it doesn't matter. And we're going to have the exact same route doing the exact same thing. Our running back or our, our defensive end got knocked down. I was so taken by that animation, I threw the ball late, but we still got the touchdown. I was watching that dude get clobbered. And you can see we have the exact same setup. This year, though, we probably want to run from the other hash mark. We don't want to shorten the field on a one play touchdown against cover one. If you're running against cover one, I mean, this setup here would be ideal. I mean, you obviously can just put the B route here on a drag. Give yourself a really good check down. The B route or the RB route here, you see, gets open right over the middle. That's a really good man beater. The B route drag obviously is a really good man beater. So, if it is actually somebody running a lot of cover one, this is going to be the best setup. But you can run it the cover three way and it's going to have the exact same effect as far as what routes get open. So, here we go once again. Like I said, just basically wait for this guy to get across. Very easy one play touchdown against cover one and cover three. And then next up, we have our cover fours. We'll start off with cover four quarters. When it comes to cover for quarters, the best thing to do is motion this guy and just put the A route on a 10 yard comeback. That's all you really have to do. Uh, and you're going to get uh, really good results. Buying time, once again, might be the biggest issue. But that basically is just going to isolate this receiver back, receiver on this cornerback. That's all you really have to do is isolate that receiver, which if you don't make that adjustment, he actually gets covered pretty good. Like I said, if I just leave it as is, a lot of times this second safety will come over. And you can see here, even this, even the cornerback didn't really get, I mean, the receiver didn't really get separation. So you really just have to put this, uh, this A right here on a 10 yard comeback. That will make the, the safety in his area react. And then you can, like I said, you can see you just get a very big play over the top. So very little setup when it comes to cover four quarters. Cover four contain is even less. This play can be a natural one play touchdown against cover four, but putting the B route and the RB route on drags is going to make the most sense. That's going to work the best. And then you just basically have to wait for this X route here to cross that free safety and get a little bit of a better throw. But you can see I almost had that. We'll do that one more time. Before we do, though, just watch this safety. Like I said, this safety here will drop down super low. You can see the depth difference between these two guys. And that's really what you're hoping for is once he gets inside that safety and over the top of the strong safety, it's a very big play. So we'll go and we'll do that one more time. So that we basically just have to buy time, which shouldn't be too much of an issue. And then it's really all about timing when it comes to this throw. As you can see, we barely got it in there. That was a little bit behind. But you can see it's a one-play touchdown against cover four. We're going to do it one more time. Like I said, I'd like to get a better separation look than that. Like I said, it's really about when you throw it. 
and how much of a bullet and pass lead away you get. Like, there we go. That's a much better bullet and pass lead. As you can see, it's a very easy one play touchdown. Much more separation there. I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you guys want to see more videos like this, a combination of a one play touchdown and some really good run plays, uh, or you want to see more plays out of the Ravens, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Much it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.